Levy and welcome back to my MLB 18 franchise with the New York Mets this is episode 27 so if you guys aren't caught up look for a playlist on my channel and if you're new click that subscribe button click that notification bell to be basically told whenever I come out with a new video and if you like what you see by the end of it click the thumbs up button I'm trying to get at least two four likes for this video and before I get started I want to apologize for the lack of um for lack of videos I've been coming out with this video for you know my franchise, I just am preparing episode 26, even though I recorded a while ago. I've just been playing a lot of NBA and a lot of Madden and trying to get those out of the way. And I kinda of put this on a back burner. And um, yeah, I, I'm I feel terrible for it because I do love playing this game. I just got caught up in everything else. Um, and I'm gonna try to see this uh, the season out and try to just keep playing here. Um, I'm making this my uh, David Wright farewell tour, so he will be playing every game, as I said in the last video. So yeah, and uh, we're gonna be playing this game, uh, the this June 24th game against the Dodgers. We're gonna be playing in LA, and uh, we're gonna have Clayton Kershaw against Jacob Degrom, two um, Cy Young contenders in real life. Let's see, I got an offer here from oh, interesting, got Tanner Bork. For hmm. interesting, let's check out Tanner's uh, stats here. Uh, starting pitcher, Tanner work. And uh, no, I'm good. Anyway, um, so we've been playing this game and we're gonna try to win against the Dodgers. I kind of got totally sidetracked there, but um, yeah, I'll see you guys. Oh, wait, I thought we were in. Wow. <laughs> For a second, I thought I was in LA for this game, but we're going to be in New York. So I'll see you guys in City Field. 0 oh, 2 to Andrew Tolls for the first bat of the game, and. Oh. 1 and 2 to Tolls. That's a swing and miss with a curveball. That is out number one. And here comes the starting lineups for. The Mets, I mean for the Dodgers, I'm not on top of my game right now. It's uh, Andrew Tolles, followed by Lorgans Forsyth, Corey Seager, Cody Bellinger, Justin Turner, Puig, Matt Kemp, Yasmani Grandal, and Clayton Kershaw. Two and two to Kemp. That's a swing and a miss. Four strikeout. That is the Grom's second strikeout. One and two. That's another swing and a miss to Yasmani Grandal. And that is the third strike out of the game for the Grom, and he looks good. That is another base hit by Travis Darno. He's batting better than Conforto right now. As he makes it the second. That is another double for uh, Travis Darno. He's having himself a heck of a season. That's the seventh double of, uh, with the Mets this season, and he is in scoring position. That's a base hit by Wilmer. Oh, and he misses it. This is going to be a triple for Wilmer. And Darno scores. Wilmer around second. And he's going to be safe at third. That is a triple by Wilmer Flores. I don't think they count that as an error. That's an RBI triple. I don't know what happened there. Wilmer went inside out. And then I think that's Puig who missed it. So it hits the wall. He was able to score. And then, yeah, Mets up one nothing. Oh my gosh, what's a base hit by Kershaw? As they stop the third inning, that's something you don't really don't want to see as a pitcher. And two to Logan Forsythe. As a swing and a miss, that is another strikeout for Degrom. Oh, what a stop by Turner. He's going to get right at first. He's able to knock down the ball. It's still a time to throw out David right at first. He's not the most uh, fleet of foot anymore, but still a heck of a play. Shit. Ooh, that's a swing and a miss. You heard me swearing because I thought I was going to leave it hanging in there. But that is the Grom with another strikeout.
And that is Wimmer with another extra base hit. This is going to be a double this time. And now he's only a single and a home run away from a cycle. I don't think I've ever done that actually in a baseball game ever. So hopefully I can pull it off because this is pretty exciting. Alright, so Gavin has an opportunity to drive in Flores at third base. One out here in the fifth. Let's see what he can do. Go, go, go. Alright, so this is going to be an RBI for Ciccini. Yeah, that's a sacrifice. It's going to be 2-0 Mets here in the fifth inning. That is a swing and a miss. That is a strikeout on Logan Forsyth. A big strikeout for the Grom, the Mets. That's another strikeout, back to back strikeouts for the Grom, getting Seeger out on three pitches. That's something you don't see every day. And that is launched into out of field. This could be a home run, and it is! That's a two-run home run for Johannes Cespedes, number 23 of the year, going 409 feet. That makes things 4-0 here in the bottom of the sixth with no outs. Clayton Kershaw will probably get the W for, I mean, for the L for this. Unless the Dodgers can pull something out of their uh, offensive sleeve, but it looks like the Mets and the way the Grom is going... But they're going to get this W with this nice big lead. One and two to Matt Kemp. That's a swing and a miss. That is a huge strikeout as Kemp is frustrated uh, for the Mets. I mean, hey, they have a man on third. Gets a, a one-out strikeout. All they need is one more out to get out of this inning. Two and two to Grandal. And that's gonna keep them stranded. And the Mets get out of that triple, the one that no out triple by Justin Turner. And it's still 4-0 Mets. Full count to Kemp. Got him looking with a changeup ball game over. That is a complete game shutout for the Cy Young probably winner, Jacob DeGrom. He just mowed them down one by one, and he deserves that ball, and he deserves that Cy Young trophy, and the Mets win 4 nothing. It was a very quick game, but that was a heck of a pitching display, but now the 14-1, Jacob DeGrom, um, they took down Clayton Kershaw, who was the losing pitcher, but that was just some good hitting by the Mets. Uh, Jacob DeGrom with 10 strikeouts, 7 hits, no walks, no errors. And I believe the Mets have a better record than the Dodgers now. Um, they were, I think they were tied or there was a half a game difference. But hey, that was a heck of a game. Um, I know the Mets actually had a, a better record. Uh, the Dodgers were trying to tie the Mets. Um, but the Mets ended up winning that series 2-1. to one, And we're going to be moving into the next week against Toronto. Let's just simulate all these games through, and we lost that game. Uh, auto. We won 11-3. Look at these injuries. Ah, we lost that series. Auto utilize. Auto utilize. Auto utilize. Okay. Lost that series to Pittsburgh. They win 11 3. Let's see. Uh, Steven Matz lost that, and then Jasamin lost that, probably in the ninth. Um, but then we're going to be facing Miami in this little series. Let's send that. And... Let's see Mets for nothing, blah blah blah, Sim Town game. The Mets won 4-3. Um, again, 5-1 against Miami. And then lost 1-3, so... That was Syndergaard with a win, the ground with another win. He's 15 and 1 with a 2.09 ERA right now. And we had Matt lose another ball game. He's 5 and 7 right now, a 3.8 ERA. Uh, and we have Arietta. No, we're going to have Zach Wheeler against Marcus Stroman. Uh, Toronto is 44 and 39. We are, actually, we have to send these through. Uh, okay. We just acquired Dave Robertson. 
I know they traded and then they got Marcus Stroman. Interesting, because we've been playing them soon. Uh, Vince. So, Arietta's on the mound. Uh, with a shutout. So we're just going to sit around to the end. Mets win 5-2. to two. And Then we'll be playing this game, I guess, since that trade happened. It's going to be Zach Wheeler versus Aaron Sanchez. They're 45-40. and 40. We are 54-30. and 30. Um, Things look interesting right now. Uh, only because... You know, there's a lot of baseballs we played. Uh, some trades happening. And take a look at the standings here. We are about nine games on the Nationals. They are 45 and 30 now. We are, again, 54 and 30. We're going to try to keep winning here. And look at the awards. Ah, oh, man, Bryce Harper took over. But it's a close race. But this is, this is not even close. Not even close. Jacob DeGrom is going to win this. Uh, anything else we are competing for? Uh, not really. Um, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 27 of my MLB 18 franchise. I almost said 19. Um, if you guys are new again, subscribe to my channel. Click the thumbs up button if you like what you see. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.